Derek Miller, and you shouldn't be on this road. Chances are there's roadside bombs on it. You don't say. You could have gotten yourself and us killed. But you wouldn't be complaining if I didn't show up when I did. The man's got a point. We know who you are. Your sister's with the rest of our unit. My sister? She's here? Looking for you. <laughs> I didn't think she'd come. We purchased our tickets, and we rushed to that front seat as we'd leave the station make its way up that steep hill. We'd undo that safety latch. We'd climb up in front of that car and dangle our legs down. And all of a sudden, boom, 100 miles an hour. Legs vibrating, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fall off this thing and get crushed. Couldn't do something a little less adventurous, like shave a mohawk into your hair or something? I'm not sure why I did it. Maybe I just like the thrill of cheating death. What I said, I know to be true. But seeing that you are to go forward, I will go with you. Help you all that I can. Work with you. Suffer with you. And if necessary, I will die with you. May God, in his mercy, bless and preserve us. It's not like we don't need electricity to run credit cards and pump gas. I don't know how to siphon it out of the ground, do you? Better yet, there might be militia groups out there waiting for idiots like us with supplies. Now we're out in the middle of nowhere, no cell covers, no cops, no one to care whether or not we survive. All because my wife wants to go see her parents. If my parents showed up here at this door right now, we'd run out of supplies very quickly. Then I would have to watch them and us slowly starve to death. That's a great image. Thank you for that. Are you even listening to me? Four days, Jordan. It's been four days, and this town has already turned on itself. Well, that's because everybody's cut off from everything. Wrong! It's because we're afraid! People do weird things when they're afraid. 